Hi, this is TapCat, and today I want to talk to you about how to kill Archons. Archons certainly look impressive. Their design is loosely based on Egyptian gods, and they do bring some heat to back that up. They have two basic attacks using their staff. One is ranged and deals seven to eight damage. They can also come in close and tag you with it melee style for six to nine. In some ways, their most impressive attack though is blazing pinions. Now they will target the ground your soldiers are standing on, at least several of your soldiers, and mark that spot with a pillar of light. And then at the end of the next turn, that will explode and do four to seven damage to everything around it. Uh, what's worse is it will also destroy any cover adjacent to it. And if, it, if you're on a roof, it will destroy the roof under your feet. So this is definitely something that you'll want to avoid. Now I should note, killing the Archon does not stop the pinions from exploding when it's time. Now, in addition to their offensive capabilities, they have pretty good defenses as well. They have health of 24 on Legend difficulty. They have a defensive rating of 25%. And then assuming you punch through that and get a hit, they also have dodge of 25. So it is not the easiest thing in the world to hit them. And they can absorb a fair amount of damage. So hearing all of this, you would probably think that when you encounter a group with an Archon in it, it should be your top priority. Well, not so fast. The thing about Archons is that if he is leading a pod of other aliens, he's almost guaranteed to use Blazing Pinions as his first turn attack. Now this will do literally nothing to you on your turn. It's just going to create a bit of a light show you will have your entire next turn to get out of the way of that before it does any damage whatsoever. So you can move and fire and be perfectly fine. On the other hand, if you begin shooting at the Archon, the first time you hit him, he will go into another state. Hurting him triggers Battle Frenzy. At that point, he will no longer use Blazing Pinions. He will take advantage of his flight and mobility to have a good chance of flanking one of your soldiers, but whether he does that or not, he will attack either ranged or melee. So this is a much more immediate danger, and that's why if you're not confident of killing the whole pod, I highly recommend focusing on the other aliens try to kill them and be ready to just take the archon down by himself on the next turn if you only hurt the archon then realize he will come after you and probably do damage now even if you're confident you can kill the archon on the first turn again i wouldn't take him as top priority unless you're also very confident you can kill the other members of the pod why kill someone that won't attack you first if there are things like troopers or officers, mutons, all kinds of different things in that group that will very likely come after you in a direct aggression that will put your guys in the hospital potentially. Now, all that said, at some point you are going to attack him, whether it's on the first turn or the second. Because he has good defense, I would definitely suggest leading off with a Grenadier that has hollow targeting if you can. That will help all of your soldiers have a better chance to cut through that defense and start chipping away at that high health total of his. Other than that, you shouldn't have to do anything too special. Really, the big wild card is his ability to dodge, but you can't do much about that. It's just a thing that can happen. I will also warn you, realize that your ranger won't be quite as reliable as he normally is, because while your chance to hit should still be good if you get him in close, you won't have an automatic chance to get the crit. Uh, because an Archon does not rely upon cover, you don't get the flanking bonus. 
One last note, in the late game, it is possible to encounter pods of three Archons all together. At this point, you can still count on one of them to use Blazing Pinions, but the other two will attack you straight up. So one thing I would suggest is avoid using a grenade like to open an ambush, even if that's available to you. You don't want to hurt all three and put all of them into Battle Frenzy. Do your best to kill two of the three. The one survivor will probably use Blazing Pinions. As long as that happens, you can take on the entire pod and walk away without so much as a scratch. All right, if you've made it this far, then hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a like so others can find it as well. And if you want to see more here on the channel, then by all means, hit the subscribe button. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.